You are about to learn how to knee on the back and add that as a time massage technique. This is such a wonderful way to help release tension and knots and stress from the body for them in a way that is also just so wonderful and easy for you to give. By the way, this is all part of my mentoring, coaching and certification program called Transformational Time Massage. You can click on this link down below and we can talk and have a free consultation and you can see if this is the right fit for you and just get your questions answered no matter what it is related to the massage. All right, let's check this out. So let's get ready to use our knees to massage our partner. I love using my knees to massage a client or my partner's back. It's really easy on my body and can be really effective to getting into all kinds of places, especially when, when you wanna give some deeper pressure. But even when you're going to give that deeper pressure, it's really important to go in light and be gradual. And in fact, before you use your knees to give a massage, then you would have already wanted to do some lighter things using your hands or your elbows or your forearms to soften up, to get rid of tension and to prepare the body for the deeper things to come. And here's a link to another video that, that you can watch to massage the back with some of those other techniques. I'm going to start with a little rock to the sacrum and also a little conversation about when you are using your knee. So when you're using your knee to massage a person, really it's important to know that where is the pointiest part of your knee and when you when your knee is bent and I don't like to use that part. I want to come more in the front where things flatten out a little bit. Okay, so that where things flatten out, that's where things just kind of slot into place like pieces of a puzzle. Also, a little bit goes a long way. There's a lot of momentum, a lot of gravity helping you when you use your knee. And then, of course, your knee just being a strong area of your body with even a little bit of gentle contact, that can feel pretty deep. So as you make your first few touches, First of all, I like to be facing kind of in this perpendicular way to my client. And I'm gonna focus, when I am perpendicular, just in the lower part of the back. So here's her bones of her pelvis, and here's her ribs. Now, I've purposefully chosen someone who's smaller than me to see that I can definitely do it with people who are smaller than me, but there's not a lot of room to operate. That as my knee makes contact, my entire knee essentially fills in that space. If you're working with someone bigger, then maybe you'd have a little bit more room, but one of the things we want to avoid is the floating ribs or any of the bones of the rib cage, of the pelvis, and of the spine. So identify where those areas are, and then just make sure that you're making contact in between on the muscles. Okay, so again, for me, that's really just one spot right here. You can feel with your hands, where does it feel that I have that soft tissue as you guide your knee in. And after more repetition, then you can just hang out in that one spot. A little longer. And so I'm not necessarily giving more pressure that is a nice way to increase the quality and the experience and the depth without it feeling too deep or too much or too fast. So I'm going in and out and then longer holds. I can change sides and do the same thing on the other side, which will also give my body and my knee a break. I can use my other knee once I switch the other side. And then if I want to go higher up the back, it's optional and it really, again, depends on the size relationship. You wanna be really aware of where that spine is and make sure there's no contact on the spine. Here is her shoulder blade and actually some knee on, you know, if, as long as your focus stays on the muscles, if you have a bit of contact on the bone of the scapula or the shoulder blade, then that is perfectly enjoyable for most people. If you're gonna do that, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place my fists on the ground, or in this case, on the pillow that she's using. I'm turning and facing forward and letting my knee rest on those spots. 
So, one knee at a time, up and down. You can always check in for pressure at any time, and it's usually a good idea to check in at the beginning, and then at least one or two more times while you're massaging the back, especially as you elevate the pressure or go to a new part of the back that you hadn't massaged before or an area that you know that they have some tension in. So this is going one knee up the back. And then I can go with both knees. So when I go with both knees, again, optional. We can see that we are going to be increasing the pressure. So it's always optional whenever you want to take it up a notch. But I'm starting on the glutes. I can find a few places on the glutes to sink in. How's this feeling for you? Good. Good. And then I can start to move up the back. So, I'm keeping my feet on the ground, I'm keeping my hands on the ground, and this is allowing me to be in control of my weight, so not too much weight is going on all at once. Now, because of our size relationship, it is really important that I keep my feet on the ground. I don't want to go any deeper than this. However, I have had clients when they're bigger than me, they want more pressure, then you can bring your feet up and you can sink in with even more pressure with your knees into their back, but you reserve that for the people who really want the deepest amount of pressure that you can provide. So essentially, you know, on the glutes, I can actually do that even on someone smaller, no problem. Because of the weight of the body and the design of the body, it can absorb more weight there. But as you're going up, the back you're going to want to be more discerning about that and but when you do have a person that can take more of the pressure then you can take your feet off the ground as well those are a few ways to help you use your knees to start massaging the back in a time massage and i hope that you find this really helpful i'd love to hear from you so if you like this video or if you have any questions about how you can do this with your clients or your partners please post them down below giving you tips and helping guide you all the way and really customizing it for you, for your body, and for the people that you want to do this with. That's what coaching is all about. And that is what I do in transformational time massage. That is my time massage coaching, mentoring, and certification program. If you want a free consultation to address any issues coming up for you and to help support you in your practice, then click on this link right here. We can get started right away. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on this bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. For now, I just wanna wish you safe, effective, and excellent massages using your knees. And we will talk to you real soon.